I love it, man. I appreciate it. We've only got about 15 minutes left, so I want to fire through some quick fire ones. Mm. One particular one which I enjoyed recently, which I know is close to you, is the co-op, the, the lovely mm. supermarket, making a sort of uh, slight at the spectator. What, what did we learn about that? Well, that was fun. Um, <laughs> I love, well, I love as in hate, uh, woke corporations. Uh, we've seen quite a lot of it recently. We've seen Sainsbury's, uh, um, uh, advertising that racists shouldn't come to our stores. We are a diverse store. As if, you know, the KKK were forever gathering in the cereals aisle of uh, the local Sainsbury's, you know, sort of big risk of bumping into them. Um, these totally fake and, and really and quite and divisive games being played by woke corporations. Uh, it's, by the way, it's becoming increasingly hard to know where where you can buy your groceries in the UK if you're a reasonable person who does, doesn't like walk, uh, woke corporations because one by one they've been falling. Um, and Marks and Spencers um, hasn't done the worst, but they did all that crap like the LGBT sandwich uh, um, to celebrate Pride Month where they made a special sandwich which they promoted which had I know, lettuce, guacamole, something else and tomato anyhow it was some soggy mess but they said it was for gay pride so anyhow i mean I, if you buy your sandwiches depending on the acronym fitting lgbt i suppose it's not the best way to do a recipe but anyway mark suspensers has done that sainsbury's has done that many of the banks have done that but uh, yeah the co-op um uh, which hasn't been terrifically governed in recent years you might have noticed uh, not least when it turned out the head of their board was a a uh, crazy old crystal meth addict, uh, uh, um, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, we had great fun. In uh, he was a Methodist minister as well. I think we ran the headline, the Spectator, on the front page about him with the, the uh, crystal Methodist. I was, I was quite pleased with that one. Um, but he 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 was head of the 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 the, the, uh, the co-op bang, and the, and the whole thing was terribly badly run. And uh, and now they've come out as sort of woke co-op. Because of course that's what everyone wants when they're buying their their uh, pork pies and uh, and milk uh, of a morning. Um, the the, the co op uh, uh, recently got into a fight with a spectator because somebody somebody who ran the social media account clean of the co op responded to a single complainant who said, "How dare I was so disappointed to see that you've advertised in the Spectator this week because the Spectator runs anti trans material." I think the person in question appeared to be um, objecting, not for once, I think, to me, um, but to a number of very distinguished left-wing feminists we've published, such as Suzanne Moore, who have written very eloquently and brilliantly and, and wittily about these issues in The Spectator, because, uh, of course, we, we publish people from across the political spectrum, as long as they can write well and, uh, and you know, Brilliantly, you know, we, we, we have a whole range of voices. And uh, anyhow, this person complained about us having the temerity to publish such women. And um, the co-op uh, social media account said, oh, well, uh, this was a terrible oversight. We're so sorry, it won't happen again. Uh, um, and we won't be advertising with the spectator again. Well, um, that got the ire up of quite a lot of us. Um, uh, um, our chairman, uh, Andrew Neal, um, is, is, isn't a pushover. And he doesn't like that sort of thing. And he won't have, he, he quite rightly just will not have advertisers trying to dictate the editorial policy of the magazine they advertise in. It's an outrageous uh, attempt to encroach upon the free press. And he said, well, actually, it doesn't matter because you're banned from advertising with us. We don't want the co-op adverts. Um, uh, our editor, Fraser Nelson, took the same line. I, 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 and uh, I uh, went in as a uh, sort of... Um, more paramilitary wing of the spectator uh, in a uh, jihad against the co-op who I, I'd like to think just couldn't understand why these three Scotsmen <laughs> had, had, had been, had been woken from their lairs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyhow, in the end, uh, actually we had a groveling apology from the co-op and it was a good lesson a very interesting lesson, by the way, because it demonstrated that, Quite often with these corporations, the people claiming to make those decisions are very young people with relatively little sway in the corporation. They haven't actually passed it by their bosses. This is a very interesting point. 
they haven't actually passed it by them. They've been given a certain power by being given the keys to the social media accounts. But that's quite different from the, the heads of the corporations. And in the case of Sainsbury's, for instance, I did this, I did this uh, uh, um, run over of the Sainsbury's board, the board of governors and the board of the board of the Sainsbury's bank. And they are all, they are all with one exception, I think, um, elderly white men. And I said, I think on Twitter, I said, well, this is this is this is what happens. This is you keep. You should know now that you actually you think when you're playing these games, oi, KKK, keep out of Sainsbury's. You think that we think, oh, what a wonderful anti-racist organisation we are. We don't. We think you've got something to hide, and the fact is, you have. You have because you're playing a you're playing a, a game that you're actually not playing. You're pretending to play a game. You're playing this game of diversity and wokeness in part because the heads of your corporation don't fit to your own standards. Because actually most of your bosses are men, most of them are white. So if you wanna play that game, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose the game that you have yourselves instigated, you idiots. Uh, I hope that people learn from this sort of episode. I really hope they do. Because I don't want that. I don't wanna spend any of my life going through the boards of supermarkets counting up how many men there are or counting up how many people of color there are. I don't want to spend my time doing it. I don't think very many other people do. I think it's an unpleasant thing to have to do. But if you draw attention to yourselves by doing this, this is what you'll get and you will not come out winning. That's the lesson I hope that people take away from it.